boogity, boogity, boogity. Let's go racing in Las Vegas, boys. Turn four to lead lap one, and they're three wide through most of the field. Big issue for Kyle Larson there. I don't know if the car got looser off of turn two, but he almost got in the wall, lost, a, lost his momentum. Chase Elliott, ninth place, started 12th. Matt. Mikey was third here at Las Vegas two years ago. Chase Elliott said the car turns well, but then he starts hitting the bumps and it just upsets the nose. It kind of goes back and forth between tight and loose. Just depends where he is on the racetrack. Here's Daniel Suarez, who started the day in 20th, cracked the top 10 and sits right now in 12th, Jamie. Coming off that really nice 10th place finish last week. This is just his third race with Stuart Haas Racing. And so far, so good, Mike. You noted he started 20th. He's working his way up, and he's saying his car is tight, which is interesting because it's a mixed bag. You hear other drivers say they're sideways loose right now. So it's a bit of a misnomer at this point, I think, for crew chiefs looking to this first round of pit stops and what adjustments to make. So only the first eight drivers, back to Corey LaJoy, are on the lead lap. Having not yet made their pit stop, along with Ty Dillon and Parker Kligerman and Ross Chastain, who are a lap down, Matt Tift, they have not stopped. Look at this battle between uh, Kyle Busch in the 18 and Ricky Stenhouse Jr. They are racing really hard right now. Alex Bowman's car that has stayed out in the 88 is not pitted yet. Now there was contact. You saw it in our side by side coverage between Eric Jones and Ricky Stenhouse. Yeah, Eric Jones did a nice job getting to the bottom of the 17 of Stenhouse. He goes down to the apron to try to clear him, and then they hit. Eric Jones audio. Look at both of your right sides there. I mean, you have a little damage, but I don't think it's even worth pulling on. Just a small crease on the right front end, right rear, but it's not bad at all. Yeah, yeah you can take the 17. Let's not talk bad about it, but they told us you got off the approval list. Oh, apparently. <laughs> well, we all, we all know Ricky Stenhouse Jr. is extremely aggressive, especially if the, the draft is involved. So, you know, I just think that's a little too early for him to be side drafting, but that side draft is very effective to keep cars behind you. Five to go in this stage. Joey Logano has just jumped into third with this pass of Eric Jones, number 20. Well, we've talked about how much aerodynamics Ooh. matter, and you can see right there Eric Jones, I think when he was behind Matt Benedetto, Got wide off the turn four. The 22 had a great run from the top lane. Fighting for stage points, eighth place. Teammates, Chase Elliott in the nine, Johnson the 48. And behind them, Daniel Suarez in 10th with that two tire stop paying off, trying to get the final stage point here. Stenhouse, oh, this battle's not over yet. They're holding you down tight, tight your quarter, outside well, quarter. Yeah. I also thought Eric Jones might hold him down tight to the apron. That's what Stenhouse did to Jones. Exactly. You're on the apron, stay on the apron. Payback. These two guys are uh, willing to mix it up a little bit here, it looks like. Three to go in stage one. Chris Buescher, last car on the lead lap, the number 37. Kevin Harvick trying to put him one down before the end of this stage. Landon Castle just ahead. And now Jimmy Johnson in 10th fighting with Keselowski because Daniel Suarez has moved up to ninth. Yeah, Keselowski is on the move. Remember, he pitted really late. Here's our leader. Green and white checkered flag. Busher got away from Harvick, who coasts to the line. He swept both stages in this race last year. Kyle Busch second. And for Joey Logano in third. Remember, Keslowski took only two tires to gain track position. And remember, they were three wide on the first start, so those two tires might have an effect if they get two, three, four wide here. Joey's off half your 
clear one to the bottom. Kyle side dress it. No help six. So six right to the back bumper here. Kyle's right to the back. Joey's gaining. Six. Trying to work to the top. All good. All good. Still 42 all the way on the bottom lane there. Runs with no you. Run Top cover tight. Runs with you. Top cover tight. Still no run. Here comes Top of three. One. Half. Top of three. 42. Two back. Bumper. Still down there. You're pulling the 18. You're too wide in your mirror as well. Top still covered here. Nine. Pushing 19. One lane up. Still outside. Still there right rear. Still there, clear, clear, clear. Get up, get up. If you want, get up. You're in 18 now. Squeeze play here. This is just wild on these restarts. Look at that huge run by Suarez. When cars get side by side, they stall one another out. That's what creates a huge draft from behind. What I noticed, Mike, is you can get a big run. If you get back and you get positioned right, you can really draft up on the car in front of you, and you have so much momentum, you can almost make that pass with the momentum you get from the draft from the car in front of you. Otherwise, you kind of stall out here. You can't really get it going. Well, you can see right there, Joey Logano desperately wants to maintain this lead and almost put a block on him on uh, the 18 of Kyle Busch here going into turn one that may not have turned out too good if they'd made contact. 119 laps complete. We're coming around to halfway in stage two, and look at this for the lead. What a great move by Kyle Busch. Got position inside the 22 of Logano and used that draft off the three of Austin Dillon to complete the pass. Yeah, I think Kyle is working the traffic a little more aggressively than what Joey is, and it allows him to get by Joey every now and then. Here. Whoa, Ooh, baby! Listen. That's a little early, boys. That's a little early. Maybe on the last lap. You are singing like you did see oh, Sweet man, Dion was, last night. I'm telling you, <laughs> that was really close. <laughs> I mean, even from up here, it was close. Says, look, boys, today I got a fast car and I'm not afraid to use it. I tell you, you know, you got to take your hat off to Greg Ives on that 88 team. He only took two tires on that last stop. That gained Alex Bowman a lot of positions as we close out this stage. So a little bit more speed up high off of turn four, and the 48 was able to get around the 24 there at the line. And Jimmy Johnson gets the final stage point in stage two. That's your credit one bank ones to watch. Boy, glad I got that in just before Kevin Harvick made the pass. Kevin, who did you say? Oh, Daryl. <laughs> New leader. <laughs> Kevin Harvick. Mike, I'm just a firm believer in the more things change, the more they stay the same. And the speed in their cars, this would be a, a really nice finish if Ricky Stenhouse Jr. could pull off this top ten. Yeah, good. I mean, you got the tip of the hat to those guys because, I mean, you know, they've struggled. The 17, Brian Patty and, and Whoa. won't good grief, guys. They about really struggled right there. It's, it's not how you're going to finish a top 10 if you keep that up. <laughs> <laughs> now, Brad has a win here with a last lap pass. Oh, big run here coming yeah. off of turn two. And he is. He's up high and got a nice run down the back straightaway. Now five, not sure it's too little too five, late, but I think he's going to be right there five, at the back four. bumper. Three, and you're trying to the bottom three back on the line. Kozlowski three to the, the bottom line. looking. Nose to tail off turn four. So right close. close. Wow. wow. He was there. Joey Logano scores his first win of the season in his championship defense. Yeah. Good job, man. Good job. The Penzoil awesome Ford job. wins the Penzoil 400. Awesome job, everyone. Really, I want here. Yes. So close, so low, about the on time. Good job. You and uh, TJ did an awesome job manipulating that. Great job, guys. Hey, NASCAR fans. Thanks for checking out the NBC Sports YouTube channel. Make sure you hit subscribe below for the latest NASCAR news, race highlights, and digital exclusives.
Thanks for watching.